widely used in the automotive sector is a spice which stands for automotive spice or a software process improvement capability determination so it basically sets out a framework for uh, suppliers of components of software to the manufacturers a spice is stands for automotive software performance improvement and capability determination it is a process to verify the automotive suppliers for their systems and software which they deliver it is a scale of uh, one to five five will be the best and uh, to be a spice compliant we will need at least level three so basically it is nothing but like uh, if you are developing a software for uh, any specific system so <clears throat> you define the requirements you develop the model and then the code uh, this code is later tested and it's installed on the hardware so this whole process is managed so and uh, if there is any defect or if there is any uh, anomalies found in the end product this has to be traced back to the model or the requirements so this whole process uh, is basically has to be uh, justified by anyone or any company which is delivering a software for example, you might use doors or PTC integrity to manage your software requirements and you might use Rhapsody or other modeling tools to develop software models. And then these models can generate code or the code could be developed manually. Then it's tested in different tools like uh, Cantata or then the software is done with a static analysis with different tools like Polyspace or Lint. Then the test cases are prepared and uh, these softwares are tested so this whole process can be um, basically this whole process can be managed with a single software development tool like um, in my experience ptc integrity or e there's also other tools like um, ibm doors for requirements management and you can use different tools for uh, the different purposes so this whole process is what is basically a spice and uh, the suppliers have to justify each and every <clears throat> line of code back to the requirements or uh, or any defects has to be traceable to the requirements to the models of the software a spice different levels are starting from zero to five zero is the incomplete process results are incomplete or inappropriate then you have level one which is performed or process performance so where the process outcomes are achieved so and you have the level two where the performance is controlled and the results are quality checked so i think if you have level one you just have the process of outcomes are basic <clears throat> where you have an achieved process everything is in 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 line with the process but in level two you have the results are checked or quality checked and it's better managed and level three is the level where any company is said to be a spice compliant and it's a it's a set of the set of specific standard processes for the organizations which it follows and uh, the difference is like in level three the organization improves its standards or learns from its processes and standards and level four is called predictable which is uh, basically in comparison to level three the data is measured recorded and it's analyzed to achieve a specific objective so if you see level three is just uh, the organization learns by improving the standards but level four it stores this and makes it uh, as a basis for its objective decisions the final level is level five where it innovates uh, basically having a uh, quantitative feedback uh, for improvement and going above uh, what is required. ASPICE is not just a single process model. It has uh, different subgroups like acquisition processes, supply processes, engineering processes, support processes, management process improvement and reuse processes. If you see the subheadings in the ASPICE website, acquisition process involves something like contract agreement, supplier monitoring, 
supplier qualification so everything which is uh, related to suppliers and contracts or interaction with the suppliers is managed in the acquisition process group then you have the supply process group which is basically also uh, managing the supplier tendering and the product release so basically more of active active involvement between the suppliers and the and the main uh, users and you have the main engineering process group which is basically what <coughs> what and you have the engineering process group which basically involves requirements uh, system requirements so software requirements software analysis software design and construction so the whole v model is covered here so where the where the company defines their requirements and till the coding or the implementation of the software so everything related to this is managed in the engineering process group then you have supporting process group which is basically quality assurance verification joint review documentation and change request management so everything related to uh, changes or verification and the quality is managed in supporting process group and you have the management process group which is uh, nothing but as the name suggests project management risk management and measurement and additionally you have process improvement process group which is basically as the name suggests is, uh, improving of the processes and reuse process group which is basically reuse uh, program management and you have the engineering process group which basically involves requirements uh, system requirements so software requirements software analysis software design and construction so the whole v model is covered here so where the where the company defines their uh, requirements and till the coding or the implementation of the software so everything related to this is managed in the engineering process group then you have supporting process group which is basically quality assurance verification joint review documentation and change request management so everything related to uh, changes or verification and the quality is managed in supporting process group and you have the management process group which is uh, nothing but as the name suggests project management risk management and measurement and additionally you have process improvement process group which is basically as the name suggests is uh, improving of the processes and reuse process group which is basically reuse uh, program management one important aspect which is by specifies or uh, emphasizes is on the traceability so once the software is delivered or the hardware is in the production it is very hard if you find a uh, anomaly or a defect which has, this will be a very costly uh, uh, to fix so it's better to fix this in the early stage in the requirement stage and this is what ASPICE um, basically emphasizes. So if you have requirements, model, code and test, so if you are able to... Um... Many tools offer a support for ASPICE compliance like the IBM's Enterprise Lifecycle Management Tool and also the PTC Integrity or the Winchill RV&S tool which also can um, give you uh, some support on ASPICE compliance from the from the from the time you design the software you make the requirements design the software code it and test it and uh, this whole process can be managed by either of these tools or also other tools um, so it's it's basically proving that your organization follows the processes and your defects or your um, end product any requirement any any functionality of the end product is traceable back to the requirements or to the models to be aspice compliant you need a minimum level 3 in order to be called aspice compliant so the, your organization must be audited by an external uh, certified aspice assessors um, these are um, specialized uh, specialists or these are uh, specialists who are well versed in the ASPICE processes and, and they can audit your company's processes, the tools you are using and how, how it's all managed. Chemtech Limited is located in London and Birmingham. 
We can provide software solutions related to embedded PLM, ALM and IoT solutions.